scared, nervous, but ready for it to be over. Petty and Reed McClellan sat through several hours of closing arguments as both sides recounted the death of the 15-month-old daughter, Chelsea. At one point, when the defense gave its version on the cause of the infant's death, Petty McClellan left the courtroom holding back tears. What do you hope happens to Janine? Well, there ain't one thing I think should happen, but I don't think that they'll give that sentence. In his closing arguments, defense attorney Bird Carn said that if there's one person to blame for what happened to Chelsea McClellan, it is Dr. Kathleen Holland. He said Holland is trying to cover up her tracks by hanging Janine Jones out to dry. Dr. Holland can I ask you a question. What do you think of uh, Bird Carnes' allegations that you're the one responsible for what happened? I'd really rather not make any comments about this case until everything is completed. Will Thank you me. make a statement afterwards? I'll decide at that point in time. Thank you. Attorney Jim Brookshire was asked to evaluate the defense's closing arguments, but declined. Prosecutor Ron Sutton, as expected, of course, was more pleased. We're satisfied that we put all the evidence in we had, and if I was to start again today, I wouldn't try it any other way. So it'll rise or fall on what we've done so far. After 19 days of testimony and three hours of closing arguments, the Janine Jones murder case finally went to the jury at 1.50 this afternoon. In Georgetown, Ed Gonzalez, Channel 5 Eyewitness News.